I didn't think I'd be here tonight, but I, the doctor said, look, you've got to rest. Well, you can't in this business, you've got to get up and do it. So I thought, right, I'll sort myself out. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying that um, Chinese medicine with the needles, what's it called? Um, <laughs> oh, heroin, I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> Make it up. <laughs> anyway, um, three things about the, uh, the Fortune songs. Have you noticed? Number one, they're about losing your love. Yeah. Number two, gloom and bloody do. Have you noticed? <laughs> and number three, it's always about bad weather. <laughs> Have you come for a good night out? <laughs> yes, well, anyway, this next one was written for the band that I love. Lady Paul Lindsay DePaul, remember her?
contestants, what a fantastic start to the show. It's the Fortunes, ladies and gentlemen, the absolute fabulous Fortunes, with the amazing vocal by Mr. Eddie Moody, there he is. That's the start, that is. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, the Fortunes. <laughs> well...
himself, born only, Brackley Kid, Mr. Sid, Twyman. And he's going to play that solo again perfectly. There you go. Perfect. Super. The man with a superb voice and keeps the motor running in the van. The drummer. That's it. Please, the man with the amazing voice put your hands together for Mr. Phil Wright. And this guy over here, you might have seen him before. <laughs> yeah, his twin brother. Yeah, his twin brother. He is twin brother. Who's, who's better and cheaper. But please put your hands together for a multi talented one and only Mr. Chris Hutchison. And last but not least, the chap with the hair, oh, no, the chap in the middle, <laughs> sort of, he's our lead vocalist. This, this chap sings notes so high that only dogs can hear, which is looking for you, but I'm looking for the dogs. Traumatising for them. <laughs> Please give it up for Jeff Brown! Okay, well in the words of our founder forefathers, Mr. Alan Blakely and Mr. Dave London, and uh, this is also a program by Joe Gilliam, we're going to love you and leave you with this Tremolo's classic.
to ask Mr. Mr. Smith. Is it alright by you, Mick? We know you're the queen of it all. Mick Smith says yes. <laughs> alright, Chris, give him that call, wait.
Show. Former members of the Let's hear it for the Trends. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes your entertainment for the first half of the show. It is now a little time, so get yourself to the Merchant King's Dice Table.
You did, you did, I'll tell you what, you did buy so many funny records in the 60s. You did, we did released a song, it was number, then it went to the charts at 15, then it went to 14, then it went back up to 16, and then the BBC banned it and it went straight to number two. It's called Bend It. That was a short version. Security, please. <laughs> Bend it. <laughs>
Reminds me of my younger days. Oh, my love life was wonderful. All over the world. Oh, my God. But now I'm 77. Oh. It's a bit like that now, doesn't it? This is one song called The Legend of Xanadu. Right. Girl, you send me that design. I 
final act and I'm happy to bring on a young gentleman that's been on the stage with bands like mm, The Beatles! <laughs> the Stones! <laughs> Roy Orbison! <laughs> He's the original voice of the searchers, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mr. Mike Penda! Every time 
we kiss I get that feeling Every time we send me Everybody's talking about my baby Cause my baby looks so sweet
you know, there used to be, quite, there used to be quite a few down here. Yes, um, okay. Now, for those of you who are looking up here, saying, is that him? <laughs> well, you know what age does, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, especially to us people from the 60s. Good grief. I mean, I used to have black hair and white teeth. <laughs> now I've got white hair and black teeth. Well, I suppose that's better than having no hair and no teeth, yeah! yeah. Alright! Here's a song you don't hear anymore. Lovely song, I thought, at the time. Got to number... I think got to number three in the charts. Better get the right key here. Thank you, my son. Young Stevie on the keyboards there. Here's a song called Goodbye.
kidding? Yeah, this song. Um, you can join in. Yeah, oh yeah, only got to sing the four little words. Love potion number. I took my troubles down to my room. You know I like gypsy with a gold cap too. She's got a pair of ten thirty four by seven little bottles up. I'm one day she'll see just how 
a good one. That was a good song. And I think if they re released that song, it could be a hit again. Yeah. Would you buy it? Yeah. You little liars. You would all download it, wouldn't you? <laughs> download it, man. That's what they do today, isn't it? They don't buy it, they just download it. Okay. Ladies and gents, there's only one more song left. Oh, yeah. But it's a good one. Mm. And I, although a lot of people say that Needles and Pins was the one that we as the searchers had a great big hit with in the 60s, this next song, I think, has stood the test of time. Um, in fact, I heard it on the radio yesterday. I couldn't believe it. <clears throat> Still playing our songs, yeah? There's an old saying, I may never pass this way again. So with that in mind, please, everybody stand and sing this song with me and make it a night to remember. Come on. Here's the song.